The work that you do is incredibly hard, and I want to recognize that. I, I want to recognize that it's getting even harder and more complex with the different people who are approaching the border now, families who are approaching. It's something to adapt to these changing circumstances and to constantly adapt as you have, um, to continue to respond to needs. But we've seen this, these challenges grow. And we are all in it together, from agents on the line and officers on the line, to communities along the border, to the families that are voluntarily presenting, and members of Congress trying to figure out what to do and how to work together to make it happen. I just want to recognize and respect the work that you do. Thank you. And communities really are feeling it along the border, too. I have communities who are working incredibly hard to help um, when, when families are bonded out, to help them reach those families so they can better comply with the orders they've been given. And sometimes it's really hard because with the increasing numbers presenting along the border, they're not always getting the right paperwork that has all the information that they need. Uh, border Patrol is incredibly strained right now, and so being able to provide all of that paperwork has been difficult. And the coordination with these churches and other organizations that are working to help this happen sometimes slips through the cracks as well. Uh, so I want to recognize the work that is being done and then also ask if CBP has any plans to improve that coordination with the local organizations for the release of these families. Thank you, Congresswoman, for your recognition. I can tell you that uh, the, our interaction with the non-governmental organizations, you know, there's a handful of which, uh, certainly in, in your district and all across the southern border, uh, that, uh, that th that collaboration is at an unprecedented high. We are absolutely grateful because we couldn't do what we're doing right now if not but for those non-governmental organizations, their collaboration not only with us but with ICE as well, and how we all come together to deal with, again, the humanitarian issues that we're confronting, the sheer volume of families. Uh, and so I assure you, we are talking to them uh, just about every day, literally our folks on the ground every day, because we are moving hundreds of these families to them every day for them to place and help find uh, where it is that they need to go. Uh, and, and look, do things like you just mentioned, raise to us if they do encounter maybe you know a typo or something that they don't understand quite uh, with, the, with the paperwork that they've been given. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know, we're, we're very grateful, uh, and I assure you that's something that's going to be ongoing. And, and I would just to clarify, one of the big challenges is just when, whether or not the families or the, the individuals get pictured, they're, they're the processing paper, if it has a picture, a photograph of them, because that's what allows them to take a flight to reach their sponsor, if that's what their sponsor, pay, their, the person who sponsored their bond pays for. Um, do you have any uh, plans to try to make sure, because it's something that ICE has done very well, is that when they produce that paperwork, it has that photograph, which allows the travel. Is that something that you're working towards standardizing? I, I will go back, Congresswoman, and, and check on that and make sure that, you know, whatever it is that is the standard is being applied. Thank you. And um, for FY20, can, can you talk about any plans for that budget to better assist with that local government and NGO coordination? I'm not aware of any specific line item called out for that, but unquestionably, even as we were talking earlier about some of the contractual arrangements, um, all of that plays into some of that, uh, you know, the type of work, if you will, that we, we that would uh, end up with interaction and coordination with the non-governmental organizations. So, as I said before, you know, even even as we uh, expect to find solutions and want to work with you all to find solutions to this immediate crisis, that's that, you know, we're part of those communities, and, and the NGOs are our neighbors as well. And so that collaboration from a professional level uh, will never uh, wane. And in fact. Again, we're very grateful for what we have right now. Thank you. I yield my time.